talk about the Colm River being a speed river, which means that the uh, water levels can go up and down very, very quickly. We're here about three or four days after the last event where you had a lot of water coming down. And uh, this corner, this site, has been transformed incredibly. What you're looking at here is a root system that's been exposed. Here's the tree. And if you look carefully at the vegetation over here, what you'll be able to see is this vegetation has been flattened down because the water has been rising and flowing along that level. Even back in there, the vegetation has flattened down. The undercutting here is just incredible. Right in underneath. Right in underneath where the tree is, and underneath there. And all of this bank has been very, very heavily eroded and exposed. And again, you can see the, uh, the vegetation flattened. Even more amazing than that is this bank here. This bank here didn't used to be here. All of this is depositioned from last Friday's event. That green bank came out another couple of metres. So what has happened is that's all been eroded away when the river's in spades. And then as the river level began to drop, because this is the inside bend of the meander, all of the boulders that it carried were deposited here. So you've got a new massive amount of deposition in the inside bend here of this meander. And a new bank eroded further on out there. And this is what it's like to be in the middle of a spade river about three days after the last massive spade event.